then notification we are going to set the time also so you see uh, at what time you got the notification so for that we are going to write set when and here we are going to use the system time so write system dot current time millis then notification dot now uh, there is something called ticker so write ticker text set ticker and it takes a string variable so i'm going to write you got a new email then i'm going to write notification dot set content title and here also it also takes a string variable so write email from and uh, it will be this value from str this one so i'm going to write from str here uh, i have used plus just to concatenate just to um, combine these two strings this is one string from here to here email from and this is another string from str so it is a variable so for that i have used plus to uh, concatenate that is the combine these two strings so for java we use plus again the next one is notification dot set content text and here the actual text will come so here i'm going to just write the subject so write subject str pass subject str string and after that write notification dot set content actually we are going to create one intent so write intent intent equals new intent and again we need to import it so just hit alt enter and select import class so it will get imported and write uh, it takes two parameters that is the context for that we are going to write this and the class name so i'm going to write name activity dot class when the user will click on the notification it will open this um, activity only so i'm going to use that if you want to open another activity then you can create one activity and you can give the respective class name here and after that write notification dot set content intent and it takes a pending intent so we are going to create one pending intent after this so write pending intent pending intent equals pending intent dot get activity singular and it takes four parameters context request code intent and flags so for context we are going to write this for request code we are going to write zero for intent we are going to pass this one so write intent and for the flags we are going to write pending intent dot flag update current this one so flag underscore update underscore current and everything in caps and we are going to pass this pending intent here so pass pending intent here after that we are going to create a notification manager so that notification manager notification manager equals in brackets notification manager and we are going to use the system service so for that write get system service and for the service what service we are going to use so just write notification and notification service or everything in caps notification underscore service and after that write notification manager that is the variable name dot notify and it takes two parameters int id and notification so notify and for id we are going to use this unique id every notification every application has different different notifications so for that uh, it should be uh, the notification manager has to handle all these notifications that's why we need a unique id so that it can uh, organize all the notifications correctly 
and for the notification pass notification dot build and everything is done now now we are going to test it out so i'm going to uh, i have already started this um, avd if you don't know how to create a custom avd i have a tutorial on that i'm going to put a link on the screen and also in the description bar below you can check it out and i'm going to start this application now so i'm going to click on debug button because if there are any errors then i can just solve them so like this uh, i got one error resource id cannot be empty string so if you get this id it will happen sometime so i'm going to just remove this statement and after that i'm going to rebuild this application now i'm going to run it again in debug mode select the emulator and hit okay So the application has started now. I'm going to put some values here. I'm going to just write two so that you can see uh, what the notification is displaying from here, subject here, and here I'm going to write anything, just random values. And now I'm going to hit send email button. So now we have this notification. I'm going to pull it down. It is working very slowly. So as you can see, email from from, and this is the logo, and subject is shown here. So not the message is not actually shown here, and this is the system time. So it is 8:14 p.m. here now, and it is 8:13 p.m. at at 8:13 p.m. we got this uh, notification. And when I'll click on this notification. It should go away. It, uh, it will open up the activity and it should go away. So for that, I have used this um, set auto cancel. So if you don't try this, this notification will show here even if you are done with it. So this activity is opened again. If you want to open any new activity, any other activity, then you can do that. So this is how you send a notification. I hope uh, it helped you and. If you like this video, hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more Android related tutorials. And if you want me to do any specific or uh, any tutorial on a specific topic, then let me know in the comments below. If you have any doubts, uh, if you get any errors in your application, uh, then first check my video about uh, how to debug your application and try to debug it yourself first. And even uh, after that, if your errors are not solved, then you can email me. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, and you can email me at techacademy at gmail.com. Uh, all the links and the description, all how you can contact me is in the description bar below. Bye.